in the shell. Yeah. Amen. And sometimes you can cover up. Yes. But my God, when the prophets and the apostles started coming down on you, you ain't got no shell. No, no. Hey! You don't have none. My doctor I, shall I, drop I, I, I don't care how you hide, how you try to drop the word of God hit you. That's right. Until they catch you while you sleep. That's right. Go right in your vision of the night. That's right. Can't get away can't from get away it. from it. Oh, it's a God that can't get away from it. That's right. What did he say, son? My doctrine shall drop as the rain. Listen at this. In Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 2. You don't have no shell to protect yourself from this message. No, no. God says in Deuteronomy. Chapter 32 and 32 verse 2. 32 and verse 32. We'll start at verse 1. All right. Give ear, O ye heaven. Give ear. Go with that God, O heaven. And I will speak. God say, I will talk. And hear, O earth. Here are the words of my mouth. The words of my mouth. My doctrine wait, shall... Wait, 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 wait. Who doctrine is it? My doctrine. Not Pastor Jennings. That's right. Ah, you folk write me and get mad at me. What you get mad at me for? <laughs> That's right. Why are you getting mad at me? That's right. Here's the mailman brought you a light bill for $5,000. <laughs> no need to cuss him out. Amen. No need to cuss him out and chase him down the street. That's right. He just brought you the light bill. That's it. He didn't make the light bill. That's right. Why are you getting mad at me? Amen. I didn't write the Bible. Hey man, mm -hmm. William got my bag of letters and I'm just your friendly neighborhood mailman. That's it. And I've come to bring you the letter of scripture. That's right. Listen to what it says. My doctrine shall drop as the God rain. God talking. My doctrine. Glory be to God. Glory Hallelujah. be to God. My doctrine. My teaching. Shall drop as the rain. It's going to drop how? As the rain. That's why you hear me say over the air, I'm going to soak you. That's right. Now I'm going to soak you because this stuff going to fall like the rain. My speech. And my speech. Shall distill as the dew. God going to make sure you get all covered. As the small it's gonna rain. It's going to come down on you as rain. That's and right. And it's going to cover you like dew. Like dew. Until you can't get away from it. That's right. Glory to God. That's why I hear people, amen, that they're just logging on from all over, yeah. putting their request from one foreign country to another foreign country. Please wonderful, wonderful. send somebody here to baptize me. We got several response, several response, and it's picking up out of Japan. Please come baptize us here Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ in the all Arab country, mm. crying for baptism in the name of Jesus Christ throughout Europe, baptism in the name of Jesus Christ throughout Africa. Wonderful. What the baptism, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus Christ is not Pastor Jennings. No. It is God's word. That's right. That's having an international effect That's right. upon the world. That's right. Glory to God, these are the last days. Oh, yes. And without question, this is the message for the last days. Oh, yes. All right. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. My doctrine. My doctrine. Blessed be God, how sweet it sounds. Amen. My, my doctrine shall drop as the rain. My speech shall distill as the dew. shall distill as the dew. As the small rain Thank upon God the tender the earth. As the small rain upon the tender and earth. And as the showers upon the grass. And as the shower upon what? Upon the grass. So God wants you to be crucified, viewers. Crucified. And you that are here, he That's wants right. your hands nailed, feet nailed. He wants your whole body hang up. That's right. Hanged up on scripture. Amen. And when it's nailed, that means the power of the gospel, the toughness of the gospel, the roughness of the gospel got you nailed to God's will. That's right. And believe me, you're going to be hurting because you're going to try to pull those scriptures loose because <laughs> you want to do what you want to do. Oh, yeah. Amen. Thank God. But then when you find, amen, how it'll do you good oh, yes. to obey God, you're given to the pain. Amen. And sometime in the midst of that hurt, you will find yourself feeling the same way the Son of God felt. Right. Amen. When he said, my God, my God, what has thou forsaken me? That means the flesh and blood body that God was in, the body was an example to leave us in a pattern of good works. Right. The body felt as though that the spirit left it or the spirit wasn't with it wasn't because with of it. the suffering that it was enduring. That's right. And that's exactly the way you would feel. Oh, Sometimes yeah. you feel like God is nowhere around. Oh, yeah. Amen. But my God, it is is God that's keeping you while you're going through the suffering. That's right. Yeah. That's right. What did he say? I am back in Galatians chapter two and verse twenty. Right, that's I am crucified with Christ. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. I live. Yet not I. Yet not I. But Christ liveth in Wait me. Wait a minute. Who's helping me to do this? Yet, yet not I. Yet not I. But Christ liveth in me. Who's helping me to do this? Christ. Yet not I. Yet not I. But Christ that liveth in me. Christ. That live in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh. And the life that my flesh is living. I live by the faith of the Son of God. I live by the faith mm. of the Son of God or I live by my belief That's right. in Jesus Christ. Who loved me. Who what? Who loved me. Loved me. And gave himself and for me. died for me. I do not frustrate the grace of God. Do you hear this? 
Amen. So that's how we're able to do it. Our belief, our faith in the Son of God. We believe that the Son of God walked here on earth, which was God manifest in the flesh. God formed the body, then took on the body that he made, and God was in that body. And the body consists of flesh and blood that was God's son or God's servant or the mediator. It wasn't two God. It was two natures. That's right. The outer nature was flesh and blood, and the inner nature was the eternal spirit, which is God himself. That's right. Like the outer nature is the body of Christ, the church. But what's in the church is the spirit of God, which That's is the Holy Ghost that that caused the church to function. That's right. Huh? And the life which I oh, now live in the flesh. God, the life which I now live in the flesh. That we live in the flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God. All right, let's go back to where we were. Third uh, Second chapter, Corinthians of chapter Second three. Corinthians. And at verse 2. Listen at this. Ye are our epistle written in our hearts. We are. Ye are the epistle written in the heart. Known and read of all men. That what? For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ. Yes. Ministered by us. Ministered by us. Written not with ink. It wasn't written with ink. But with the spirit of the living God. Ah. Uh, that's what we're doing with God to help traveling yes, around the world with God's spirit writing. That's right. Writing with right. God's spirit. That's right. To get this thing in your heart, to get you on the right path. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31. Says what? And we're at verse 33. Uh -huh. But this shall be the You covenant. know, when you want to be right, you will come out of that religion you're in. Yes, you will. When you want to be right, no man made religion will be able to hold you. That's right. None. None. Doesn't matter how long you've been in it, how you patronize it, if your mother's still there, if your father's still there, or if your wife or husband's still in there and don't want to come out, then I advise you to do like the Apostle Peter preaching on the day of Pentecost save right. yourself. Save yourself. Save yourself from this untoward generation, which means save yourself from this generation that's going to hell. That's right. Uh -huh. Jeremiah 31 and verse 33. Jeremiah what? Chapter 31 and verse 33. That's what? But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. This shall be the pact, the agreement that I will make with Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, what happened? I will put my law. I will put my law. In their inward parts. In their inward parts. And write it in their hearts. You know, you know, when the commandments was written on a stone. Yeah. Now here come God with his word. He want to put it where? And write it in their hearts. He want to put it where? And I will put my law in their inward parts. He want it on the inward part. The inward part. Inward part. In other words, you have to get God precepts, mm -hmm. God's order, God commandments, God's law, right. God's statute, God instructions got to be located where? In their inward part. In order for it to get in your inward part, you got to have a preacher that's handled a book of scripture, which is the precepts of God, and know how to put it on the inside. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Eh? That's right. You got to know how to put it on the inside. Amen. In other words, you got to form open heart surgery. Yes. Open you up. That's Thank right. God and place God's word in there that your body may live by the precepts of the heavenly Father. That's right. Uh -huh. After those days, saith the Lord, and what? I will put my law in their inward part and, and write it in their hearts. What else? And will be their God. And what? They, and will be their God. And will be their God. And they shall be my people. He didn't say I'll be your G O D S. And we'll be their G O D. I'll be their your, your their God. One. One. All of you that got gods. <laughs> That's mm -mm. Right. No, no, not that you, you you just you just lost. <laughs> you're right. confused. Yeah. You're you're just confused. God knows. That's right. Amen. Somebody wrote me and said that uh, God have a father. God. God. Have a father. Lord. You're an idiot. <laughs> That's an idiot. That's a supreme fool. That's right. God. God. You're not just a fool. You're the ultimate supreme fool. In Malachi chapter 2 and verse 10. God have a father. My God. Lord. God ain't never told you that you're heathen. No, never you're did. You're a bunch of heathens. That's right. You're a bunch of social media heathens. That's right. Hear what, let's hear what the word of God says. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 10. What is it? Have we not all one father? Wait a minute. Hath we not all one father? And what else? Hath not one God created us? That same one God is the one father. That's right. That's it. You're so blind. You're so deceived of the devil. You know, the devil come out with a lot of revelations. <laughs> yes, he will. Not from scripture. No. But from hell. That's right. God have a father. Then he went on to say God didn't create nothing. God didn't create nothing? My Lord. Genesis 1 1. Genesis 1 1. In the beginning. Genesis 1 1. Genesis 1. Follow me in your Bible, you social media heathens. 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 That got your pastor. Your mama is a heathen. Your <laughs> wife is a heathen. Yes, I say your mama. Your mama. You don't like it. Your mama and your daddy are heathen. That's right. And your sons and daughters. That's right. Your bunch of heathens. Your bunch pastor. 
your bishop, your elder, yes. including you. That's right. You bunch of social media heathens. Amen. You hear what the Bible says? Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1. Says what? In the beginning. In the beginning. God created the heaven and the earth. Hold on up. God created the heaven and the earth. And Malachi says what? It, has we not all one father? What did he do? Has not one God created us? You're so foolish. That's a fool. You're so blind. That's that why, viewers, 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 you leave these social media pulpit crackpots alone. That's right. Because with the stuff they, with the stuff they believe, they must be vaping. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. They must be vaping with they the stuff be. that they believe. Amen. God is not the father. God, you know, this is devil's teaching. Yes, it is. Because the devil been trying to discredit God from being God since the devil was made. That's right. And the devil has sent countless of men, black, white, brown, yellow, red, of every ethnic group in the world. And the devil tries hard to discredit God because even the devil know some Bible carrying sucker gonna believe it. Yes, he will. They gonna believe it? That's right. The word of God says what? Have we not all one father? Have we not all one father? Has not Have one not God one created, God created, God us. created us? Created us. All right, let's go back to the book of Corinthians now. Back in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, we're at verse 3. Follow me quickly. For as much as you are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ, yes. ministered by us, uh -huh. written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God, yes. not in tables of stone, not in tables of stone but in fleshy tables of the heart we want to put it in your heart uh -huh. and such trust have we through christ to god work. yes not that we are sufficient of ourselves but what to think anything as of ourselves you hear the apostle paul that's right Apostle paul said i don't think anything of myself that's right until the apostle said let no man think no higher than he ought to think but thinks over but our sufficiency is of god our sufficiency is who is of god paul let you know he wasn't doing this thing on his own oh no no, his sufficiency was not of himself. That's right. His sufficiency relied on God. That's right. And ours is the same way. Oh, yes. Amen. Church and viewers and sinners and everything else. Our sufficiency is not of Pastor Jennings. No way. Our sufficiency is of it's God of and God. Jesus Christ is he. That's right. And Who also hath made us able ministers. What? Who also hath made us able ministers of the New Testament. You got to be an able minister. An able minister. And when you're an able minister, you're able to lay in scripture. That's I believe right. scripture. That's it. I don't want to hear nobody's opinion about nothing. I don't respect your opinion about scripture. No. Many people write me sometimes. They write me letters too long to read. <laughs> It's Five, right. six, seven, eight. One man wrote me and made a small magazine of about 60 or 70 something pages. My Lord. Fighting me about the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. My Lord. A whole magazine took its time and wasted its energy. <laughs> and the <laughs> title was, Why Pastor Jennings is a Liar. Mm. For preaching, you must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. My Lord. Took his time, wrapped it up, typed it up. <laughs> had it printed or did it himself and amen pay for his postage and sent it to me and the title was why is pastor jennings a liar mm. for preaching a baptism in the name of jesus christ when i saw the title i took all his hard work and <laughs> threw it in the trash that's right yeah. that's right Amen. That's it. I just took all this hard work all and it. threw it in the trash. That's right. If you haven't repented of your sins and been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care if you claim to be an apostle or prophet or bishop or elder or evangelist yeah. or pastor, whatever. Whatever. Or a mother in a church or on some hypocrite in church choir. That's right. You have not repented of your sins and went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. You're not saved. No, no. If you bow your head and raise your hands, you're not saved. You're still an old sinner. That's right. If you went to some fake church and prayed a sinner's prayer, no such prayers in the Bible. You're still a sinner. That's right. Who? You. That's right. Your grandmama is a sinner. Your snap happy grandpappy. <laughs> Your <laughs> pastor. That's right. Is a sinner. If you are preaching a Paul Pitt, get out of it. Oh, yeah. Because you're still in your sin. That's right. Because the Bible says repent and be baptized, every one of you. Hey, Amen. This is what everybody got to do Cleveland, Cleveland, right. Cleveland. And you can attach the entire state of Ohio, all the Midwest, all the East Coast, the entire country of America, and bring the rest of the world and link it on down to the in the Florida. That's right. The Holy Ghost has. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, all right, you, you, you that are here. Mm -hmm. Are you born again? Yeah. Well, Pastor, didn't I accept Christ as my personal Savior? That's nice. I didn't ask you that. I asked you, are you born again? That's right. Well, that's how I got born again, according to who? According to who? Well, I thought I was saved. You thought wrong. That's right. 
The way you accept Christ, you accept his teaching. That's it. Not getting up and tell some lying Jerry Hurl preacher, oh, I accept <laughs> Christ as my personal savior. He don't, I don't mean nothing. No. You're not a Christian, you're not saved. No. Well, I go to church every Sunday, so do roaches. That's right. You don't have a saved roach there. Amen. Am I right, I said? Amen. Glory to God. Acts 2 and verse 38. Listen at this. Then yeah, this. Your salvation got to be right where he's about to read. That's right. You better give me John chapter 3 first. John chapter 3, we'll start at verse 1. Now, begin at verse 1. I want you to follow me and get me in here, man. All yep. of you that are watching and listening, amen, I want to call your attention again. Everybody in the world. That's right. Everybody. Everybody. Every Everybody. pastor, every bishop, every would-be preacher, every man or woman on the planet. The way you're born again, the way you're saved, the way you got the new birth. I have to come along here in scripture now. That's right. Listen at this. J. St. John chapter 3, we're at verse 1. Look at here. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. Uh -huh. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. We know that God. thou art a teacher come from God, and but no man can do the things that you do unless God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, I what? except a man be born again. Here it is. Amen. Except a man be born how? Except a man be born again. Hold it. Again. Again. You was born the first time. That's right. But you mean your natural birth. Right. Came from your mother's womb. Her water broke. That's right. And a little wicked fella come out. <laughs> and began to grow up and know right from wrong and chose wrong over right. That's right. And he came out born in his sin. That's it. Shaped in iniquity. Shaped in iniquity. Born in darkness. That's right. Innocent, but born in darkness. That's right. And he grew up manifesting the wicked nature that he had. Amen. Amen. That's why you partied and drank. You was wicked in your mother's womb. Yeah. You just couldn't act it out. That's right. So your mother acted out for you. That's right. That's why she drank while she carried you. Yeah. Seven months pregnant, she's still out there trying to dance. Oh, yeah. Shaking her big belly. <laughs> That's right. Shaking her hair, the whole curls falling out, yeah. or somebody else's hair on her head got twisted because the bobby pins came loose. <laughs> That's right. Eh? Amen. Wicked mama carrying a child Amen. because some woman lay with a wicked man mm. and he discharged his wicked seed. Yeah. Amen. So the whole family is wicked until they accept the righteousness of God. That's right. It doesn't matter how harsh it sounds or how bitter it sounds, it's the truth. Amen. You're either wicked or you're righteous. That's it. One of the two. That's right. Do you hear this? Except a man be born again. Are you born again? Born again. How are you born again, viewers, 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 and you that are here? How are you born again? Amen. Did you accept Christ as your personal savior like you thought? You're not born again. Born again. You went to some church and a liar stood up and said, anybody want a church home? I open the church doors and give you a home and you come up while the choir is singing for you. I am praying you for you. Oh, that, that really worked on your heart. That then. works on your heart. That works on your heart. You start crying. Your fake eyelashes about three inches long got disconnected from your eyes. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. That man looking like particles of a mop hanging from your eyes. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. Choir get the singing for you. You and your third husband come up. Yeah. <laughs> for you. I'm praying. And then the preacher said, I open the church doors and give you a home. And they tell you, you can, can confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus saved. that he rose from the dead and you are saved. That's what they and say. you say, I believe that Jesus Christ died and rose from the dead. I believe he's the son of God. And then the preacher said, you're saved now. You're saved. And you walk go back to your seat smiling and crying with your mascara running down your face and your lipstick is all smudged, gripping tightly the hand of your third husband. That's right. You no more saved than a duck can smoke crack and have relationships with the chicken and birth little puppies. <laughs> Amen. You ain't saved at all. At all. You've been lied to, I said. That's right. Order in the church. Go ahead, go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Do you hear what it says? Verily, verily, I say unto thee. God talking. Except a man be born again. You got to be born again. He cannot see the kingdom of God. Now look at Jesus going to make it more plain and detail it more. St. John chapter 3 and at verse, well, we're still at verse 4. Be quick. Nicodemus says unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? Nicodemus represent everybody. That's right. What you mean? Lack of understanding. Full of education. That's right. 
But because the Lord brought him something spiritual, his education couldn't help him. He couldn't grasp it. Amen. He was so carnal and looking at things in a carnal perspective. Mm -hmm. He actually thought, look, just, I just want you to pay attention to the man's question. How can a man be How born? How can a man be born? When he is old. What? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? That's really dumb. <laughs> Amen. I don't care how you look at it. That's ignorant. That, that's ignorant. Now, you know, good and well, Jesus was not telling a grown man. That's right. You got to clam back in your mother's womb. That's right. Can you imagine that? Imagine that. <laughs> Can you imagine that? My For Lord. us to be born again. Here we are grown, right. full grown. And we got to say, mama, look, I'm ready to be born again. Mom. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And here, here, here the whole neighborhood want to be born again. <laughs> Mama, I want to be born again. Amen. She was like, what? That's right. Oh, Lord, help me. Here go Mama sitting Amen. down. Come on. My Lord. <laughs> Come on. My Lord. You see how blind Nicodemus was? That's right. I want you to look at the man's question. How can a man be how born when he is old? How can a man be born when, when he is old? Can he enter the can second he time? Go back the second go round into his mother's womb and be born? <laughs> you see how blind he was? He's blind. That's right. He was educated. That's right. But he couldn't get the things of God. That's right. Until the Bible said the things of God, no man know but the spirit of God. Amen. And Jesus answered verily, verily, Jesus I say said, unto truly, thee, truly, I say to you. Except a man be born of water. Now he's breaking it down. That's right. He told you to be born again. Born again. Now he's going to break it down and tell you what being born again consists of. Except a man be born of water. You got to have water. And of the spirit. And now you got to have spirit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Oh, what else did he say? That which is born of the flesh is flesh. Oh, that's talking about your first birth. That's right. When you're born of the flesh, that's flesh. That's your first birth. But now. And that which is born of the spirit. When you're born of the spirit. Is spirit. Is spirit. Marvel that's, not that's that I your, said unto thee. spiritual birth. So Jesus said, don't be surprised at what I'm telling you. He must be born again. You don't have to do it. He must be born again. Nah, you don't have to do it. He must be born again. If Jesus said you must do something, you got to do it. That's right. Now, let's see what is being born again of the water. Of the water. Listen at this. Acts chapter 2 and at verse 38. All right. Then Peter said unto them, repent. It's about the time to get nailed down now. Oh, yeah. Time to get nailed down now. That's right. If you want to bear the cross, you got to pick this scripture up. That's right. Eh? That's right. Glory to God, if you want to bear the cross, you got to pick this scripture up right here. Then Peter said unto them, repent. What is repentance? Repentance is when you're sorry about your sins. Mm -hmm. Sorry about your wrong. And you truly go before God with a broken, contrite heart, asking God to forgive you for your sins because you're sorry about it. That's right. You are convicted. That's right. And you repent for them. That's right. All the wrong you ever done, you repent for them. Repent. And you're ready to make a change. That's right. He ain't never told nobody, bow your head, raise your hands. No. Accept Christ as your personal savior. You look at some liar on television or on YouTube or some form of social media, TikTok or whatever it is. <laughs> and look right. at some blind, devil-deceived liar ahead, and tell brother. you, you that are watching me now, touch the screen and let God come in your heart yeah. and repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. Wash me white as snow come into my heart. And then the preacher say, if you've done that and you said this, you're saved, my friend. You're no more That's saved then you are related to Gabriel. That's right. And if you've done it, it ain't none of you saved. That's right. Now, now get mad now. Get mad as much as you please, but it won't change the fact. You're still a sinner. Still a sinner. A pipe smoking, cigar sucking, joint sucking, crack snorking, beer drinking, party clubbing, dancer sinner That's who right. ain't never been saved since you fell from your mother's womb. That's right. You ain't been saved since your mother pushed you out. Go ahead. Huh? Then Peter said Come on, them, back the Bible. Repent. You got to repent to have this right. That's right. And what? And be baptized. How much? Every one of you. How much of Ohio? Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You got to repent of your sins. You got to be sorry about your sins. And then your mother, your father, your sister and brother and you. Yes. You can't send your children to be baptized no. because the children got to repent too. That's right. And if they don't know what repentance is, then uh, don't bother them. Don't bother them. Amen. The Bible says, whosoever will, let them come. Let them come. They got to understand what it is. That's right. How can you repent if you don't even know what it is? Right. Repentance is when you convict in your heart and then you're ready to make a change because of the wrong that you've done. That's right. Repent. And be baptized. Repent. 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 Woman, you know you got somebody else's husband. Repent. And you married him. 
That's right. You better repent for that adulterous relationship. Repent. 